Okay, let's get to busy. This is a, or when I started on my steam engine, everybody's asking me how I calculated the horsepower and stuff for the steam engine. Well, here is my answer. For most of the steam engine stuff, the easiest way to calculate out theoretical horsepower is a method called plan. P for pressure for the PSI uh, or the average PSI that's going into the cylinder. Let me get a better marker. Okay. Sharpies, not good for much of anything anymore. I just get big ones. The P is for pressure, the the average pressure inside the cylinder. L is for the length of stroke in feet. Like uh, A is the area of the piston you want which is uh, the pi r square, which is, yeah. And then N is the number of RPMs that the motor's running at. What you do, you take and times all these together. Um, yeah, you times it all together and then divide it by 33,000 and that will give you theoretical horsepower for your stuff. For this steam engine that I'm building it has a three inch piston with um, it's two and three eighths stroke length so you want I'm gonna run it about 30 psi the boiler pressure will be about 60 so that it has overhead so P will be 30 times and oh okay um couldn't remember what I was thinking uh, the piston stroke length in feet it is 2.375 divided by 12 which will come out to 0 0.1979167 we'll just say that um, since it's a double acting you want to double this so it'll be times 2 which will come out to 0. 3958 three, three, times the area of the piston which will be 7 pi r squared times 300 rpm so you have the psi you want to run it at your stroke length and feet. You double it if you're doing double acting or just keep it single. Keep it this if you're doing single acting. 
most steam engines will be double acting if it's pushing both ways. 7 inch is the square area of the piston which is 3 inches piston and then 300 RPM and that will come out to what is it it'll come out to 20 four nine three seven by 24,937.479 that will and then you divide that by 33,000 which will come out to 0 0.7557 horsepower now that doesn't seem like very much uh, for a steam engine, but most of the gas, gas and electric motors have the RPMs that are kind of high to raise the horsepower on. So what you want to do to find torque, you just do Ooh, wrong way. Yeah, five two times five two is just kind of a constant times the horsepower, which will be the point seven five five seven. Divided by the RPMs, which will come out to I believe it's. 13 point if my math is correct around 13.5 or 13.6 pounds of torque that for yeah now if I take and you run that same torque calculation on a electric motor or whatever which you're going to sub substitute the 300 for the yeah you're going to substitute the horsepower and the speed I'm going to do it here uh, I don't write much so Like the motor on my lathe and shaper is half horse electric motors, so 0 0.5 horsepower over 1725 RPMs. Doing that out, it comes out to 1.5. one point five two two three horse pounds of torque compared to thirteen point almost six massive difference the horsepower for the steam engines are actually dependent on the boiler because like this one here is rated at thirty psi if you have let's say a boiler that off of a steam engine for like a steam locomotive some of those run at 200 psi so we'll just go to that 
200 times 0.39 I'm butchering the hell out of it but I can read it times the 7 inch square area times 300 RPMs. That will come out to 166249.86 to divide that by 33,000 and that will come out to 88.197 pounds of torque per 200 psi. This is at 30 psi. Same math and everything, except just the psi has changed. That one's 200. So the one at 30 psi gives 13 pounds, or thir a little over 13 and a half pounds. This one gives a little over 88 pounds of torque per foot. So that's kind of how you do the math for calculating out the steam engines, for finding theoretical stuff. So I'm looking into the boiler stuff. The only thing I've been able to find so far is that to find the boiler horsepower to, or find the horsepower to the boiler horsepower, you want to take and take the horsepower times seven six zero oh, two six so zero point seven six zero oh, two six eight eight five seven four. He just takes the horsepower times that number it'll give you the boiler horsepower so yeah kind of a pain but if you take the that number there you'll end up with the boiler horsepower but you take that number the Boiler horsepower, and then times that by 34.5 times that will give you the pounds of steam per hour. Now, another thing you could do is boiler horsepower times seven, I believe. Yeah. The boiler horsepower times seven equals the um, area uh, square that the inside of the 
that has to be in contact with the water and in contact with where the heat's coming through the boiler, like the bottom of the flue sheet and the boiler tubes. They would give you that much theoretically to give you an idea of how to get to where you need for sizing boilers and for doing that stuff up. As a good rule of thumb, I usually double everything so you have lots of room to play. Because this is just bare absolute minimum. I have all of the calculations and stuff done out here for different pressures. Like at 30 PSI it would be 13.6 or 13.568 at 100 psi would be a little over 44 psi 288 psi or 88 pounds of torque and at 60 psi it would be 26 about 26 and a half pounds of torque just off this little engine what I was looking at is the electric motors on the lathe and shaper use have 1.5 little over 1.5 pounds of torque at those speeds um, yeah so you could take and times that by three that would be three motors running on my on all the machines running at once and it still wouldn't come to 13.568 it would not actually overdo the engine so I could power the whole shop just from this little booger and still have plenty of overhead room to play this but like I said this is theoretical it's not absolute because you have to factor in the expansion contraction of steam you have to take and factor in the efficiency of the engine, the slide valve setup, you have to figure in the amount of friction within the engine. There is a lot of math involved and it's just this is just for bare minimum. So well that's as far as I got for yeah. Okay, thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Alright, see ya.